you know, I had kind of hoped that the pyro update would have dropped by the time I uploaded this video, but no such luck, I guess. I don't know. Like, Valve, I appreciate that you're taking your time on this. I'm sure you're doing a great job, but I mean, you should probably keep us informed on what you're doing, you know? I don't know. I, I guess we'll just work with what we've got for now. Uh, there are many different types of pyros, and hopefully I'll be able to cover all of them in this video. With that said, please remember that a stereotype does not necessarily mean everyone, but there's also a reason for it existing in the first place. Does that, does that make sense? Okay. Everybody good? We ready? Okay, let's get started. This is one of the least used stock primaries out of all the classes, since everybody and their mother has this concerning level of attachment to the degreaser. Now that said, this weapon is usually used by pyros who are either really new, or who know how to combo, but they prefer to have the capability to WM1 if they need to, Oh, and they also like having more air blasts at their disposal. In other words, Holy shit, Pyro! Press something other than Mouse 2 for once! Since this is a reskin of stock, the stereotypes for that apply to this as well, but without the whole new player stigma that most default weapons will come with. Now, it's also worth noting that the view model for this is pretty minimal compared to other flamethrowers, so people who use this also have an appreciation for a cleaner screen. Well, this weapon does all crits from behind, so you'd think that backburner pyros would play a flank-heavy playstyle that allows them to maximize damage output and ambush enemies, right? <laughs> well... No. Now this is the meta flamethrower, so it's by far the most common weapon to see pyros use. Because of this, there are quite a few stereotypes here. First, you've got the combo pyro. This is pretty self-explanatory. These guys do the standard pyro combo, which consists of setting you on fire, air blasting you, and then shooting you with whatever secondary weapon they're using. Most pyros who have some idea of what they're doing will fall under this category. Next, we've got the big air quotes here, combo pyro. This guy has seen the first stereotype in action and he tries to replicate it. The problem is he kind of sucks at it. He'll air blast you and pull out his secondary, but for some reason, despite the fact that you're in complete hit stun, he'll miss. I don't, I don't really know how, but it happens. Next, we've got the WM2 Pyro. This guy doesn't know how to press any button other than the air blast button. You come around a corner, air blast. You're ambushing them, turn around and air blast. They're across the map and you're playing with any class that has a projectile, air blast. These guys are really easy to predict since they always just panic M2 whenever you're remotely close to them. So when you see them, just wait for an air blast and then destroy them. And finally, we have WM1 Pyros for some reason. Why would you use a weapon that does less fire damage to do fire damage? I don't know, but it's actually more common to see than a WM1 Pyro using stock. Okay, so I'm not sure how, but I went to the bathroom, and when I got back, somebody removed all my keys from my keyboard except for W and G, and they also took my mouse and replaced it with a single button bound to plus attack. Now, at first I was really sad since I thought, oh, I won't be able to play TF2 anymore, but then I remembered that the flog exists, so we're fine. Now, I know the whole brain-dead WM1 stereotype has been around for a long time, but at this point, most people who use this know exactly what they're doing. They just don't really give a damn what everyone else thinks of them. This is another stock reskin, so again, all the stereotypes for that apply here. The only difference between the two is that the rain blower takes you to pyro land, and it also has a taunt kill. So most pyros using this will try to taunt kill at basically every opportunity. This usually gets them killed, but, eh. Shotgun has two stereotypes for Pyro. First one is obviously the guy who just launched the game trying really hard for that flare gun he saw in a Pyro Frag movie. So you can just turn around trying to do that, just to realize Frag movies fail to represent actual viability of a weapon. Other stereotype is pretty simple. This guy plays competitive to Pyro in Europe or America. This is a very common pyro secondary since it allows for pretty good burst damage at short or long range. That said, because it's so common, it's usually seen as a war pig. There's the whole puff and sting combo that so many people love to use, and since they're using the meta combo, they probably think they're really good at the game. Unfortunately, they'll often completely screw up the sting part and end up looking pretty dumb. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
The reserve shooter is one of those weapons that most players use where someone, somewhere is gonna get mad and yell at you for using it, even if it's your dad walking in like Hey there son I see you're playing as the pyro class in the team defense for 2 video game. Yeah dad I love this character and he's fun to play. You're dead to me. When someone spots another player using the reserve shooter, they begin to sweat uncontrollably, and they immediately switch to a mindset that encompasses the following. Calling the other player, smelly, puppy kicker, a racial slur, something about being a weeaboo, and or gay, before proceeding to leave the server. Did I say only most players use this weapon? I meant every, every single, single player. player. You're a creepy mute little bugger, ain't you? This guy loves to flank and jump and do all the really crazy shit that we saw Sketchek do with it back in the day. Damn, I miss that guy. Now you can expect these guys to know crazy jumps and flank routes and just generally drop out of nowhere. Now a lot of people assume that these guys use the detonator because they can't aim flares, but that's not really the case. That stereotype belongs to the... Oh, what's that? Can't aim flares, but you still want to harass someone at long range? Well, fear not! Now you don't even have to hit your target. Just spam the shit out of this down a choke point and... Well, you really won't accomplish anything, you're just gonna be a pain in the ass, but I guess that's what everybody who uses this weapon is going for, so it all checks out. Players using the Man Melter really only ever use it with the Flog so that they can still extinguish teammates. Otherwise, it's just kind of bad. Like, no, really, it's so freaking bad. Ooh, look! More bad weapons that basically nobody uses! This is one of those stock weapons that never really gets used because Pyro has so many better options at his disposal. Basically, if you see a Pyro with the Fire Axe, you can assume that they're either really new or Valve screwed up the item servers again. Back in the day, this weapon was the best Pyro melee in the game. Nowadays though, it's just for hipster like me who are too cool for mainstream powerjack users. Well, please buff the extinction, I beg you. I, I wrote a blog post a while ago about why I f***ing hate video games. Because this is what it does, it appeals to like the male fantasy. <laughs> This guy is a total bro. I love Homewrecker Pyros, even when I'm not playing NG. In fact, I'm pretty sure everybody loves Homewrecker Pyros. The fact that they've sacrificed the utility of other better weapons in order to help out his teammates is a pretty good indicator that you're gonna have a good time with this guy. Well, ever since the Extinguisher got nerfed into the same tier as Melee Kirby, this is really the best melee weapon for Pyro, which means basically everybody who takes the game seriously and knows what they're doing uses this weapon. So if you see a Pyro using this, well, I, I don't know. I guess he knows what he's doing, but you'd be better off judging his playstyle with other weapons since this one is so broad. This guy is a strong, independent Pyro who don't need no medic. He understands that medics are an endangered species in pubs, and so he'll use this to go off on his own and just do his own thing. One thing to note is that you shouldn't expect very much teamwork from these guys, because, like I said, they're just off on their own, doing their own thing. Oh wow, lots of responses. <laughs> Could use that. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm... Um, hold on. I don't care. Just don't meme the volcano fragment. I use it as an action. <laughs> I don't have anything to add to that. <laughs> I, that one literally just wrote itself. 
This guy is a pyro shark, plain and simple. You know, I actually had an amazing Jaws edit that I did for this. It had like, you know, 20 different Neon Annihilator kills in it, but that got completely screwed by copyright. So uh, I'm just gonna leave a link to that in the description if you wanna go and watch that. But as for the actual stereotype, it's just pyro shark. This is another Pyroland stock reskin, except this time it's actually complete shit. So players who use this weapon just, God, why would you even use this? I get, I guess maybe if you want the full Pyroland set, so so the goggles and the balloonicorn and the rain blower and the lolly chop, but even then, that's like, why? I maybe you have a strange one and you feel obligated to use it because of that. I just, I honestly have no idea. I hate this game. Well, that's all of the weapons for Pyro, at least for now. Sorry about the delay on this one. I had finals and two other jobs and just so much other stuff going on. I'll try to get my shit together in the future. But anyway, make sure to let me know if you've got ideas or opinions for Demo who is up next. And other than that, I think that's it. So thanks for watching, y'all. I'll see you next time.